hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and prominently i call in only the purest of white light anything the enemy has stolen from you is returned to you being returned to you anything uh any evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are returned being returned to them as i have said so shall it be Ooh, judgment is final Okay, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on in this tarot reading today. We have the Empress and the Emperor Show and I here together. Lord have mercy. Okay, so the, these two are going through some type of ending. They, they are going through some type of ending. They may have made some type of decision to take some type of action to block someone's forward movement um to interfere with some type of decision with someone stepping out on faith or someone receiving some type of opportunity this was absolutely a calculated risk for these people but it looks like it's not going in their favor something of that nature we're going to find out a little bit more as we go on um you could have two sets of couples in here an emperor and empress in the upright and an emperor and an empress in the reverse meaning the actions they took against the other group okay there's some type of judgment that has been called in this situation as an empress that's having to find strength to move for yeah i'm telling you <laughs> to move forward okay so maybe an emperor uh betray his empress excuse me my car fell on the floor yeah, maybe an emperor betrayed his empress and now he may be stuck in something or a husband and wife got together, carry something out. It didn't turn out in their favor. Now they have to be brave with the consequences of what's happening, what's taking place. They may have been trying to bring trouble to a queen of cups, have her trapped in a situation. This will be something these people did from behind the scenes, interfering with your livelihood. Well, have mercy. Yeah. They interfere with someone's livelihood. Oh, collective, this is not you. <laughs> this is another Queen of Cups. These are your enemies going through their rewards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are your enemies going through their rewards. This is how they thought. This is what, excuse me. They thought they were going to come out on top. They were expecting rewards. These are the rewards that they are accepting or receiving. Let me put it that way. Endings, foreclosure, homelessness, joblessness. Someone may be losing a business. An institution may have turned their back on someone. Um, it's a whole lot going on here. There could be an emperor as well that may have turned his back on an institution. Um, because of something they did, something he doesn't want to be part of anymore. Laura, it's a whole lot going on. Why is a husband and wife doing something so low vibrational as to interfere with someone's forward movement? They've lost control. They've lost power. There's something like that going on here. Lord have mercy. What happened to husbands and wives being like the guiding force for each other? Like you see one making a wrong turn and then you step in to tell them, hey, hun. Get back this way. You see her making a wrong turn. You step in. You say, hey, sweetheart, get back this way. No. These two got together to do something, make some type of decision. Right? Make some type of decision. And now they're being left out in the cold. I don't know if they're losing a home, losing a business, losing their finances, having to file for bankruptcy. All I know is... It's not looking pretty for these people. There's the Queen of Cups also going through some type of ending. And she's up late, worry at night. I don't know if she's about to be homeless. But the truth has been revealed, right? About her, what she's been doing. You have a King of Cups showing up as well. Yeah. Mm. She's burdened because a King of Cups is leaving. 
he's getting out into the world considering his, considering his other options. This man does not want to stay with this woman. There's something very toxic and karmic about this energy. She may not be a true queen of cups. And so he's leaving to go venture out into the world, have new experiences, possibly partner up with someone new, or just taking his offer to another energy. Whatever he's doing, he's wanting to move on. And she's very burdened by this. Is there someone seeing you for who you are and it's not something where you can put a mask back on? You can, you know that when you wake up from sleep, <sighs> You wake up and some, let's say you went to bed at like 8 p.m. last night. You wake up at like 8 a.m. So you've had a good 12 hours of sleep, right? <laughs> and then someone wants to tell you to go back to sleep and you're like, well, I'm not sleepy. Okay. There's something like this. Someone has seen a woman for who she really is and she's trying to put him back to sleep and he's not sleepy. He can't go back to sleep. Come on now. How do you go back to sleep after something like this? Someone mask fall off and they just want you to pick it back up and put it back on. Or you're just supposed to pick it up and put it back on and then they just pretend like nothing ever happened. Nothing to see here, folks. Really? No. The mask is off. The mask is off. He sees you for the deadly creature you are. Someone could be going through some type of, like, I don't know if they're sick. Or I don't know if someone is passing away. Yeah, this man is moving on. Someone is passing away. Or someone is sick. It could be this Queen of Cups. Uh, I don't want to speak that on anyone. But absolutely. Or it could be the Emperor. There's someone in here that is sick. They're really sick. I don't know if they're having a hard time recovering. Lord. Hmm. Yeah, something I don't know what this is, honey. I'm still trying to get a, trying to get a hold of it because there's a whole lot going on in here. It's a whole lot going on in here. Dang! Someone trapped themselves in something they they don't see a way out of. They're gonna have to compromise to bring balance into a situation. Hmm. While you've been busy working, trying to make it to your destination, people have been trying to end you. Yeah, this, this, uh, 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 uh oh, my lord. Hmm. This woman was trying to drag something out, and now your angels are stepping in to actually drag it out for her. This is like something going on, and she being told, "Don't do that. Stop it." Stop doing that. Don't do that anymore. And she kept dragging it on and on and on. And now the angels that they've stepped in and said, well, since you want to drag it out, let's help you. Except they reversed the roles. Now she's at the receiving end and she may not like how things are playing out. Someone had a plan for you. You are going to be homeless at a disadvantage. Someone was going to come in and make you some type of horrendous offer that was going to trap you. And your ancestors said, absolutely not. They wanted to trap an angelic energy. They wanted to trap an angelic energy. This was a whole plot. This emperor here, this is a piece of work. Whoever this woman is, I said something about someone passing away. And the death in reverse comes out. Um... Ma'am, ma'am, it may not be too late for you to um, step back, change the trajectory you're on, you're taking. You need to change something, something you're doing, don't do it anymore. I'm telling you, don't do it anymore because this is about to be you real soon. This may be even you now. And this is me warning you, telling you, whatever you've been doing, don't do it no more. Because it's not going to end pretty for you. It's, oh, it's not going to end pretty for you. You people are having a hard time ending something, finishing something, healing, 
recovering. There's a King of Cups in here that's having a hard time recovering. He is having a hard time healing. He may be sick too. I don't know what in the world is going on. All these cards are coming out in the reverse. Is this two? No, this is one. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Someone lost their power. Someone was using black magic to get something to go in their favor. Now they're having a hard time ending a chapter. Something is being dragged out. The karma is here. Is here. Dang. Someone is unable to finish a chapter. This king of swords in the reverse that tend to abuse his power. Someone is a brute, dishonest, financially focused, very greedy. Mm-hmm. Someone thought they were going to come in your energy, mislead you, deceive you, so you could start a whole new karmic cycle with them. It's not happening. They're stuck where they are. They can't, they're, they're unable to end some type of karmic cycle they put themselves in. It's like they were told, hey, don't do that. And they took some type of leap of faith and participated in something. And now it won't end. It's just a dragging out. They're having a hard time healing. Their group is being dismantled because the truth is being seen about this group. They took some type of action to block someone from being seen, someone from receiving an offer. It's that like you step out on faith and you started working. You may have opened a business, something, started a new study. And this, they say, oh, no, this person can't have that. If, they, if they're seen, we'll be exposed. If they're seen, they'll be better than us. They'll be making money. So we need to block it. So they took some type of action to block your work. And now they're going through some type of karma. There is divine intervention, by the way. And they're having a hard time healing, putting an end to this. Someone's like, I want out. Now they want out of the situation. They can't. There's a lesson to be learned. Someone may want to have closure with you, but you're nowhere to be here, to be seen. You don't want nothing to do with this person. You know what someone did. You know someone is a thief. You know someone is a thief. You know someone is rash. They're very impulsive. Yeah. They block they try to block some type of offer or they block some type of offer from coming to you. And now they're going through some type of ending themselves. People don't want to work with them. So, yeah, justice, judgment, okay? There's a message that someone has been interfering with. There's an offer that someone has been interfering with or a group of people have been interfering with. Okay. Whatever this Queen of Cups is going through. Oh. Mm. Whatever this Queen of Cups is going through. Mm, that's all I'm going to say. If you collective, if you work for a King of Pentacles, that's coming to an end. For someone out there. For someone out there. Yeah, it's coming to an end. Because he's going through an ending too. He's he's doing something. Too. Dang. Oh. This man may want to speak with you to confess something. He knows you know what they've been doing. Someone knows what he, what's been going on. Like he knows you are aware of what they've been doing. And he's trying to not go through karma. Or he don't, doesn't want something to hit him really hard. So he may want to talk to you to expose something. There's something has, that has been illuminated. Or he's trying to bring something to your attention. It's a, hey, this is what they've been planning to do. This is what they're planning to do to you. You see this King of Swords here in the reverse? This one here, they're all working together. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, whatever he's choosing to do, 
Your ancestors are all over it. They're all over it. Whatever this man is planning to do. Mm, some of you have been practical in the past. He should have been practical in the past. But now that he's having financial issues, he's stuck. Like a financial securities. This is why he now wants to come out to tell the truth. Because it's a cycle that he has gotten into. And it is tearing his behind up. He thought he was secure. These are the, the kind of vain people. Because they have a little bit of money in their account. When they're being malicious to people. They don't care about the consequences. Because they think their money is going to get them out. Apparently spirit says it's not so. Something is being dragged out. It was dragged out long enough for him to lose a lot of finances where he doesn't think that he's secure anymore. He's pinching pennies. Oh, he's about to be. So now he wants to bring balance into the situation. I'm telling you this man here. <laughs> now he wants to bring balance into a situation. Maybe tell the truth about something a wealthy man did, has been doing. The truth is exposed. Yeah, some type of action a wealthy man took. You could have a couple of wealthy men in here. Oh my gosh. This wealthy man is stuck in something. He can't get out of it. He trapped himself having financial issues. This wealthy man trapped himself in something he cannot get out of. He trapped himself. He took some type of impulsive action to interfere with something and it trapped him. He may be going through some, I don't know what this, <laughs> Lord, I'm trying to get the words out. This man is going through something that even he cannot verbalize. It may even seem supernatural for him. It may seem supernatural for him. Like this is some type of turn of event this man did not expect. He thought he was secure. The kind of secure he has right now is I'm going to pay the bills. And then I guess that's it. Someone took some type of rash action against you. <laughs> I'm telling you, someone is not doing well. Lo and behold, it's the freaking Queen of Cups. Someone was plotting against a Queen of Cups as well. Someone was plotting against your ending. Yeah. That's the thing I don't get. What I'm really being told is that this wealthy man, who other, whoever this other wealthy man is, is removing himself from a group. Or he may be leaving somewhere, traveling. There could be a couple of them in here. One is very unhinged, but the other one is doing the right thing. The other one is doing the right thing. Hmm. Yeah, he's taking action to bring balance into a situation. But there's one behind the scenes going through an ending. And he's, he's going to keep going through that until he fixed something that he did wrong. Hmm. Until he fixed something he did wrong. He has to bring balance into a situation. All that fake, phony mess that he's been doing, pretending to be friends with people, someone is not a genuine friend. Any type of friendship he's offering people is this ingenuine as can be. Someone buys their friendships. He has money, so he gives you money. Because he gives you money, now you think you two are friends. And then he comes in and calls you his friend. You're not his friend. He don't give two S about you. 
That's how he hooks people in, by giving them money. That's how he hooks people in, by giving them money. But there's something underneath that. There's, there's, there are intentions, ulterior motives behind why that man is giving you money. Okay? That's for a specific wealthy man. There's someone that deals with him and didn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. You have another one that that someone is traveling with this eight of cups out here in this wheel of fortune. Someone is traveling and they're coming from far, far away. It could be like from overseas. Like he took care of all his, his obligations at home. He made plans and everything. And then he traveled or he's going to be traveling. He may want to connect with you to give you some type of offer, but someone is coming from afar. He may have traveled before. Uh-huh. He may have traveled before trying to connect with you and people are preventing you two from connecting. People prevented you two from connecting. Yeah. I'm telling you. This man traveled before. This is not his first time. Right now, he's being more strategic about it. He's being a little bit more strategic about it. And he has his mind set. This is what I'm being told. He has his mind set. He wants to give you an offer, Queen of Pentacles. This is not the, the, the nutcase that's been showing up in my readings. This is actually a divine being being given an offer because someone is seeing the truth about a situation. This is going to lead you to move on. I've been seeing the number six, six a lot. It has to do with you moving on. So someone you're about to move on. And the people around you and around him that have been trying to block you two from moving on, they know at this point it's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Some of you may work with people that have been trying to keep you from moving on, trying to block you. There's a masculine that's about to be very desperate. Because the moment you leave, I don't know if you work for him or are in a relationship with him, he loses everything when you leave. He loses everything. Someone is about to be very desperate out here. Like he may even come in your energy crying. Don't feel sorry for him. Because this man, he decided that your life, your comfort, your livelihood was irrelevant compared to his. Don't feel sorry for this man. This is like someone keeping you stuck in a position. They know people are trying to end you. People are trying to destroy you and they can assist you, but they choose not to either out of greed or fear, something like that. And now that they stand to lose everything because you will be moving on, you are moving on. Now they want to come in and confess to you, illuminate, expose something to you about how a wealthy man wants to work with you, how someone has an offer for you, and they're hoping this is going to bring balance into a situation. Your ancestors will decide how this plays out. Something is so redundant. At this point, the host of heavens are tired themselves. They're tired. They're like, we're over this. This is over. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're about to go through some type of growth. There's a woman in here as well that has been blocking some type of communications, but you're you're about to be receiving something, some type of good news, and it's going to like honey, your life is about to turn around. Okay? 
You're about to be in like some type of privileged energy. This is why this man is coming to you. You may have helped someone heal or someone just knows of your work ethics. They know how committed you are. You're very, uh, uh, com you're very passionate about what you do. And this is what someone is looking for because you need passion to have their creativity spark. If you're not passionate about anything you're doing, all that's around you is darkness and death. So as one family or whatever this is, organization is coming to an end, a new one is beginning. There's no creativity in what someone is a part of for some of you, and they want to partner up with you so you can bring that spark back. And when you arrive at your destination, oh my Lord, be mindful because there's an energy in there, possibly a queen of pentacles that you're going to have to look out for. This is one, the, the one that wants to prove that they're better than you, better than everybody else. They know more than you. It's an ego thing. It's an ego thing. It's an ego her ego is bruised. She may be older than you, doesn't like the fact that you are on her level or even better than her when it comes to a uh, knowledge, how you carry yourself, your mindset, your morals, your ethics, principles you operate on. Someone doesn't like that you are someone of moral, you have moral character, you operate based on principle. She consider people like that to be weak-minded. The fact that you do what is right, you look out for people, you don't have any ulterior motive, you're not financially focused, she sees you as weak. But when you get to this destination, this woman, if she's still there, she's going to F around and find out. These are the people that you humble with your words diplomatically. These are the kinds of people you humble with your words diplomatically you're tactful about it but when you're done talking i bet you she'll never make another mistake again to come for you she'll never make another mistake you'll have a friend in her a friend in me is a friend in the <laughs> if you know what i mean from collective <laughs> A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> yes, honey. She's been interfering with communications. She said, no, I don't want her to come here. Someone is intimidated by another energy. They said they see themselves as better than you. But deep down, they know they're full of S-H-I-T. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just now hearing that someone stands in the mirror pretending to be a, another energy. <laughs> I am the star seed. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet there's someone that watches me and gets pissed off, but who cares? <laughs> I am the Empress. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> It said, just say it a few more times, you'll believe it. <laughs> Maybe you'll get other people to believe it as well. Okay. <laughs> There's also another energy in here that knows that you're going to be receiving some type of offer, communication, something like that. And honey, it's ruffling her feathers. Ma'am, since you already have feathers, you better shake it, shake it, your feathers. Come on, let me see you shake your tail feather. Come on, let me see you shake your tail feather. Mm. Mm -hmm. Coming, 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 baby. Mm. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Oh. 
I don't know who this couple is that keeps showing up in every reading. They keep showing up in every reading. There's a high priestess that's probably upset about working with them. She is upset about working with them, but something didn't go in their favor. She may have done something to make sure they don't get what they want. So they're not seeing clearly something about the Ace of Pentacles. They're not seeing clearly something is not going in their favor. These, pe these people have endings coming in. They're under some type of delusion, illusion, whatever this is. Mm. Yeah. It said your victory is in shore. They're blinded by that. They expected things to go in their favor. These are possibly people with like a lot of influence or something like that. A lot of networks, finances or something like that. And they expected something to go in their favor trying to cause confusions about an offer being given to you. It's still being given to you. Now, I don't know if they're married or they just work together to cause confusion. This would be like an S a, a couple that is into esoteric knowledge, but they misuse the knowledge. They are, they are acquiring something like that. Honey, please, who has time? Who has time? Yeah, things are not going in their favor. Bang. And it came sideways. Yeah. It came sideways for a reason. Since I'm the dreamer, I get to decide. Since I'm the dreamer that dreams the dream, I get to decide. These people are not getting anything they thought they were going to get. My goodness. There's a woman in here that's taking some type of action to I don't to minimize the amount of loss that she's going to experience or she that she's supposed to experience or she knows she will experience if she doesn't bring balance into a situation. So she may be wanting to communicate with you because she wants to mend things over. Because when you arrive at your destination, this queen of pentacles here is going to be in a lot of hot water. This is gonna be the friend that is not really a friend. She'll be there to provide all of your needs basically what do you need? Do you need some food? You need some water? You need me to do anything for you because she knows what she did and you know what she did. And it's embarrassing for her. And she could stand to lose her job. She don't want to lose her job. So she's trying to communicate with you so she can minimize the amount of loss she'll end up experiencing. That's what it is. She was not supposed to partake in something or something she orchestrated she should never have orchestrated so this is like a pr move for her if i get in there quick and i apologize and tell her you know this is it then maybe she won't be like angry with me when you get at this destination this woman is going to be looking at you a lot but afraid to look you eye eye to eye look you in the eye She may have told a lot of lies. Someone abused some type of authority or position they had. And maybe they thought it would never be exposed. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah.
Someone lied about a they lied about some type of information. That someone took some type of action to cover something up, a decision was made, and she did something to cover it up so it wouldn't be exposed. Like she hid a letter or something like that. If you were supposed to receive a letter or information from someone a long time ago, she did something to hide that letter. She she wants to be seen as the better fit. Someone is overly critical, but the people she's criticizing are not the ones that need to be criticized. She's the one that needs to be criticized. And she's about to lose something that she stole. She wants to be seen as the better fit. Oh, I'm the one that's multi that multitask. I'm the one that's business savvy. This is just someone being an airhead. This is just someone that thinks she's better than everybody else. That's all it is to her. Yeah. She wants to be seen as someone that's better than everyone else. She negatively influences everyone around her, but she does it discreetly. She does it discreetly. She's just as calculating as this energy here. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all working together. Heck, they are in the same story, so they have to be working together. These people force something to go in their way, their favor, and now they're kind of wishing they never did. And that's how Source operates. Source will sit back and let you carry out all your smart moves. Smart moves. And then they let it play out. When the consequences come back, and it's like, oh, dang, why did I do that? Yeah, that victory was short lived. <laughs> oh, gosh, that victory was short lived. I said, hi. Ah, oh. Anytime you have to rejoice at the downfall of someone else so that you can be victorious, you're pathetic as heck. Anytime you have to rejoice at the downfall of somebody else, you are pathetic as heck. And now they're scared. Because when you come, when you arrive at your destination, it's going to be problems. <laughs> your ancestors say, I don't want peace. I want problems. Always. <laughs> they started the battle. You're finishing the war. And say, so you want problems always. So we're here. We'll give you your wish. Listen, it's right back on the bottom. You're secure, collective. You are secure. Say, so you want problems always? Oh, we too. We do too. We want problems always too. So here we go. Let's see how long you'll last. Let's see how much problems you can handle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clarity. <laughs> they don't want problems anymore. They want clarity in the matter. They want the truth is being exposed. They want to call truce. Is that hey, yeah, we made a mistake when we said we wanted problems always. We didn't know who we were coming after. We thought we were just going to, you know, block someone, take everything from them, and then they would just disappear. They will be out in the street, homeless, broken, bruised, bitter, and something like that. And we would just say they were crazy. They were irrelevant. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. They have mental issues and things like that. And your ancestors said, are you dumb? You know that the Remy, Remy, uh, Remy Ma is saying, are you dumb? That's what your ancestors are saying to someone. They're looking at them like, are you dumb? We don't have madness in our bloodline. We don't have crazy people in our bloodline. Mentally unstable people. Okay? 
Are you dumb? Man, they keep saying that. Why are you all saying that? <laughs> they said because they all. <laughs> heard a woman's voice there because they are oh my gosh some of my ancestors is silly as heck like whoever you have an angel around you to, that's with all the s-h-i-t and they have the clearance to do what they want they say you want to you want to play i want to play too except when they play people don't want to play with them it said, wait, 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 can we negotiate? Can we negotiate? I don't want to lose my house. Is this like Chucky doll? You want to play? Is it this angel? When this angel plays? Oh, man. It's a nightmare for whoever they're playing with. Is it, wait, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And the angel said, oh, you're not ready? Okay, well, I'll wait 10 seconds. And then that person is standing there trying to pray for 10 seconds. And the angel said, whoop, you said 10 seconds. You said 10 minutes. <laughs> he said, well, on earth, 10 seconds is different from up here. It already passed, so you know. <laughs> 10 minutes, 10 hours is different down there than it is up here. So I did it in my 10 seconds. It was immediate. <laughs> There's someone whose guardian angel is like a goon. They don't play around. That sucker is kind of terrifying, but very beautiful, kind-hearted, just very stoic. Don't play around. Not, not here to play around with the BS. Someone's guardian angel is if they love you bless you if you piss them off boom, have mercy upon your soul because this angel what i'm hearing is they are relentless they make sure things go in the favor of the person they're watching over like they make sure it ain't no if ands or buts about it because you got to think about it. These angels, they incarnate, they separate from source the same time the humans or the soul separates from source. That, that, yeah, the soul. So the angel and the soul, the twin flames, the soul twins, the three of them, they separate from source at the same time and they all have their role to play. The angels, job is to protect the soul of that being so they've been incarnating for all these lifetimes obviously they're going to be very close their personalities are about the same it's just a little different when the human incarnates right but the angel whoever this angel is does not play about the being that they're watching over. They said everything they want, anything they want, they can have it. They can have it. You can have whatever you like. Yeah. This angel does not play. And so these people out here that thought they were coming up against uh, an empress or a star seed, no, you were fighting a whole angelic being the whole time. That's why whatever you did, it didn't do nothing to this person. Because there was an angel there the whole time. Initially, they were kind of just taking notes. They already know how, knew how everything was going to play out. They just sat back or stood back and observed from a distance. And they, they, they learned all the characters involved, the karmic couple, the king, king of swords, the queen of swords, queen of pentacles. All the other minions behind the scenes, the Rugrats, Queen of Wands, they were watching everybody, testing people as well. This angel is someone with a lot of clearance in the spirit realm, a whole lot of clearance. 
It's just one of those beings that you see and you know to stay clear of their path. You know to stay clear of their path. Don't bring nothing to them. Don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. These are the types of beings. They don't start fight, but they don't fight, but they don't mind finishing it. Someone is protected by their lineage. Uh, whoever is protecting them, this is someone they incarnated with before, as far as like a parent uh, or a relative. So this being, this angel is very protective of this person. A lot of you in here, your ancestors have separated from you. They tried to warn you, say, hey, this here ain't what you want. We don't want no part. <laughs> Someone's ancestors told them, hey, this here, this is not what we, this is not in our nick of the woods. We don't have nothing against what they can do. Like, we're on like level one and these people are like on level nine we need you to calm down calm down and whoever this is <laughs> it's, uh, uh, hush <laughs> even though this is a devilish energy they have intuition someone is very intuitive Whoever this devilish energy is, very intuitive. But they misuse their intuitive gifts. And their ancestors were telling them, don't do that. Don't mess with that person. It's not going to end in your favor. You're out here trying to bring problems to someone. Don't do it. You're out here trying to uh, 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 unalive someone. Don't do it. That's not the kind of energies we temper with. You're going to start having problems you never knew were possible. They warned this person. Someone was warned. They said, in a lack of a better word, mind your business. He didn't want to. Someone's ego was bruised. That's why he came after a feminine energy. And then you have Madame here too, the Queen of Pentacles behind the scenes. Her ego, her insecurities, they consumed her. She thought she was coming to destroy someone. They told her too. Step back. Don't, don't, nope, don't get into that arena. We're not getting in there with you. If your ancestors are telling you to move on, they're not getting in the arena with you, and you still have the balls to step in the arena, <laughs> you can't complain about anything that happens. So now she's trying to minimize her loss. Because she failed to listen. She's stuck in something she can't get out of. She can't see her way out of it. So now she wants to reach out to the star. See, hey, hon, hey. I just want you to know that you have this opportunity available for you. We are so, uh, we will be so glad for you to come and join us. We're looking forward to your arrival. Before she even makes the call, you already know she's calling. Before she sends the letter, you already know she's sending the letter. That's how it is. That's the kind of clearing some people have in life. Someone, this woman's life has already been revealed to you way ahead of time. You already know everything you need to know about her, what she does behind the scenes, how she moves, all the favors she does for people to do things for her. You already know. There's a woman that was I remember, oh, is that a year, over a year ago or something? There's a woman that was stalking me. I had never met this woman before. <laughs> I had never met this woman before a day in my life. And still, I was wondering, I'm like, why, why is this woman coming after me? But I remember I went to bed a couple of times and I saw her. She was indulging in some low vibrational energy with a masculine. They were having Monashi twice and everything. And I said, oh. And she came into my energy one day and I picked up on her. I, I was looking at her like, honey, it's best you don't say anything because what's been revealed to me about you is not something you want out in the public. I'm going to need you to chill. 
that's how someone is in here that high priestess uh-huh <laughs> the one that actually is in the upright with the gifts of manifesting making sure things go in her favor by not doing anything harmful to other people that woman knows the truth about people in here she knows people's secrets and will never fix her mouth to say it she just looks at you and poor thing god bless your heart you're coming after me and you don't know i could destroy you with one sent with one sentence that page of pentacles above that woman that's a manifester and you see how fast she went from being a page of pentacles to a high priestess that's someone that is, that commits they invest in what they want that's a big jump to go from being a page of pentacles to a high priestess taking charge to ensure her own victory so that's someone with clearance to do as she pleases she has the authority to make things go in her favor Someone out here, however, you've been battling an angel. You haven't really been battling that high priestess. Because she has a protector that does not play about her. It's that that angel just sits back and says, I'm just waiting. I need some entertainment today. Who's going to be my entertainment? Will it be you, Billie Jean? Will it be you, Joe? Will it be you, Donovan? Will it be you, David? Who will it be today? Maria? Melissa? Nia, is it you? The angel don't play. We have two coming together, success, uh -huh, manifesting a new reality together. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. I'm telling you, she knows. Just like I knew about that woman that was stalking me, trying to prove to him. And I saw her in the dream, trying to prove to someone that she was better than me or something like that. I saw her a whole year and a half before she even came into my energy. Some, she thought that if she gave this man what he wanted, allow him to bring whoever he wanted into the bedroom and things like that, she would be able to trap him forever. This is possibly with a King of Cups. He has outgrown that. This masculine has gone through some type of healing. She was trying to prevent him from going through healing. Now she's being forced to do the same thing. She might she does not want to accept the reality of what it is that she is no longer the head honcho of something, but <laughs> time is up. That's how it is here. This high priestess, she knows. She knows. She knows exactly what has been going on, what people have been doing. But the high priestesses, they are obligated to maintain a silence. They don't say what they know. They'll let you carry on. They want you to experience what you need to so you can grow. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. Absolutely. And then we have nine. Oh, nine, nine. Okay, moving on completion newness starting over something honey you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker assisting all of humanity live your truths and be a positive light to others that's what most people are called to do that's a lot of a lot of the times nine out of ten times when we incarnate is to help other souls ascend to be a servant, servitude to others. But most people don't like that word, being a servitude, because they are so egotistical. All they want to do is take advantage of other people. As long as they are secure, then there's nothing going on wrong in the world. You can be living in poverty, and at your detriment, they're living in luxury. They don't care. They don't care. But nine out of 10 times, when we incarnate, it's to be a servitude to the world because there are more people that are unhealed than there are people that are healed. So those that incarnate, 
from other dimensions. They're coming here to help. To help you heal. To help you elevate. To, to help you separate from your toxic friends. I just don't get it. To help you get away from them. So you can know you have a higher calling on your life. And you need to accept your calling. It said, come into the light, Caroline. The light is beautiful. It's harmless. Don't be afraid of the light, Caroline. Come on in. Okay? And a lot of the times when people incarnate, they think their calling is supposed to be something grand. West. No. A lot of the times your calling is something very simple. Just you being kind to people. Just you being a servant to. Helping people see things from a bit different perspective. That's all it really is. People try to complicate it more than it needs to be. It's not meant to be complicated. 18, 9. You are both open-minded. I'm telling you, and open-hearted. And your ambition is to leave this world better than you find found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am kind-hearted. I'm telling you, that's all it is at the end of the day. Helping other people heal, being a servant to, opening other people's eyes. People that are truly into spirituality, they will tell you that too. You can have someone that's been studying spirituality, practicing spirituality for 50 years. And when you sit down with them and talk to them about why we incarnate, they will tell you the same thing. is to help other people heal. Help people as, uh, ascend. Raise the vibration of the mass. Show love. Be kind. Be open-hearted. Because that's all that matters on a cosmic level is love, being kind. That's all that matters. All the other stuff in between is irrelevant. It's just there for fluff. The luxury cars, the money, the cars, the ho ho hoes, all of that is just fluff. Those are there to see how focused you are to your path. Do you care more about the luxury car or about your healing? Some people don't care about healing. And they don't understand why, even though they have all the material things in the world, they still feel unfulfilled. Because the material things is irrelevant. They are irrelevant. Okay? And I'm saying that, I believe, it's because someone in here, Madame Queen of Pentacles, you're superficial. Your ego is so large, even the earth does not want to continue anymore. You and the group you got together to try to destroy someone, you and this karmic couple, whoever this is, there could be a, like different parts of people coming after one person. But each and every one of you, your greed is why you are in the predicament you're in. And it's not going to get any better until you mend what you broke, what you destroy. And it does not matter how long you try to hide it. It'll still be exposed. It's best for you all to take action to mint what you did than for the universe to expose it naturally. Because when it is exposed naturally, it's going to be worse. It is going to be worse. So, collective... You are intuitive. You know what's going on. You're not crazy. Don't let anyone make you feel crazy. Take your power. Stand in your power. I am powerful. Look at here. Stand in your power. It is time for you all to be leaders of your communities in your own lives. Take charge. Okay? Doing little things. Showing kind. Doing acts of kindness to other people. For other people. That's how you, you are leaders of your communities. Without any ulterior motive or so. Let me put that in there. You're not coming out here to be kind to people so you can go on social media and say, oh, I gave this homeless person $500. You just dismantle the whole purpose. That whole act of kindness is no longer an act of kindness. People should not feel comfortable recording what they are doing for other people. Don't do that. 
the universe does not ask with things like that. Your right hand should never know what your left hand is doing. Your left hand should not know what your right hand is doing. Keep it to yourself. I am kind-hearted. Operate from your heart space. People try to explain manifestation and all that and the complicated is really not that big. It's really not that complicated. Heal your heart, balance your mind, operate from your heart space. You manifest whatever you want. That's all it is. When you heal your mind and your heart, guess what? You won't be focused on superficial things. You won't be focused on that. People that are unhealed and imbalanced are the ones that focus on things like that. They want to prove that they have this much money. They, they know this person. They have this car. They have this. They have that. And that's all to make them feel secure within themselves. And they want people to look at them like, oh, he's the SHIT. He's better than me. But at the end of the day, you come around someone like me and you're trying to prove that you have this and you have that. I'll just feel sorry for you. I'm that poor little thing thing. He thinks I really used to SHIT to give up what he has. I don't care what you have because I've already read you at the door. You're shallow. I may even consider you to be incompetent. Why do I need to know what you have? Hmm? There's a level of incompetence there when you have to prove to people what you have. You want everybody to know, I have Chanel on, I have Gucci, I drive a Porsche, I drive a Maserati. Who cares? Are you like, are you dumb? <laughs> Back again to Remy Ma. Are you dumb? You got to be. Anyways, collective, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. It's a, it's a beautiful Saturday where I'm at. I am going to go enjoy with my babies. I hope you all enjoy your Saturdays. Anyways, stay blessed. Goodbye for now.